Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my July empties and I just have a few products to show you. I didn't wanna put in stuff that I finish up all the time monthly like my hair conditioner or my hair mousse and stuff like that. So I kind of narrowed it down a little bit for you. The first product that I will share with you that I finished this month is this. This is the two-in-one daily facial cloths. This is the Walmart brand, Equate Beauty. These face cloths are dry and you wet them and you kind of do like this and they take off every single stitch of makeup, including waterproof mascaras, um, all kind of eyeliners, everything. So I use this. I wash my face after it with the e.l.f. Daily Facial Cleanser just because I don't know if this stuff might leave a residue or not. I'm not sure. And I use these in the shower. I use them not in the shower. But they're really great. This box here has 66 cloths in it and it was a little over $8, almost $9 at Walmart. Speaking of e.l.f. products, the next one that I will show you that I finished is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This was in my Finish 4x4 Project Pan or 6x Summer, I don't know. They were both epic fails. And uh, so yes, I finished this one and I'm so glad I did. This one was not good. This will not be a repurchase, but this is a definite repurchase. In fact, when I go to Walmart later today, I'm gonna to buy me some more. My third product that I will show you is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, number 125. This is by Maybelline. And I love this foundation. I already bought a new one. It does not keep me matte. Like, I wouldn't say it's matte. It's definitely not like, um, what's that one I use from Estee Lauder, the um, Double Wear? That's super matte. This is not like that, but it does fill in pores. It's got a great finish to it. It does oxidize a little bit, and I love it. I found this stuff last winter, and I try, like, when I start to run out, I see it's running out, I immediately go and buy another one. So I don't know how much this thing costs. It couldn't have been 8 or $9. My next product is also by Maybelline. It is the new Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer with Goji Berry and something. Not wear my glasses, I can't read it. But it looks like this. And it has this weird spongy type applicator to it. There you go. And this is in the shade Light, which I am not fair skinned obviously but I like to brighten the under eye and it does work very well I do have a new one that I'm already using and um, great product the last product that I'm going to show you is actually not mine it is my husband's it is the Dolce and Cabana the one is this is cologne I'm sure it's not yes it's cologne it's empty I think yep it's empty. I bought this for my husband last summer and he just finished it and he said, honey, put this in your video because I finished it. It'll be something different. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. I got this when I was on a cruise. So it was duty free in Jamaica or what, I don't even know what I paid for it. I know it was a lot of money, like 60 bucks. Is that a lot of money for cologne? I don't know. I think it's a lot of money. To me, that's a lot of money, but he was totally worth it. So those are my products that I finished in July, my July empties. I hope you liked this video. If you did, would you please give me a thumbs up? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Mwah. Bye.